Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you recommended me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if we should see something of yours to show on this channel, just leave me the name of the Steam Workshop item in the comment section below and I'll eventually get round to it. But for today, we are looking at another small heavy armoured vehicle that puts the new weapons to very good use. This is the HAC-01 Tortuga Heavy Armoured Car. As you can see, it's got the railgun on here, we've got our auto cannons and assault cannon. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu. There it is. This thing is 1081 if it wants to update. There we go, small blocks. Using the Warfare 2, Wasteland and Decker Block number 2 DLC packs. We use three scripts on here, which is going to be mainly for the custom turret control, which is going to be for the railgun. And we've got two others that we'll look at when we go around the inside. So giving this thing a thumbs up, we'll move all around to the very front. We'll have a quick look around the outside. Now I've set up some pirates all the way down to there. Wherever they've gone, there they are. And we'll go in and test out the weapons versus that. All the way back around to here, hiding all the signals. Hiding the HUD. My character can now bugger off into the distance. There we go. And this is what we get at the very front. So at the front here, we've got ourselves a lovely heavy armored steel ram with spikes along the bottom. So if you were to ram this into something, hopefully you'll deal a nice lot of damage. But this has been attached on from the main body fired two hinges right there, which is how it's getting its angle. And if we were to look all the way up to here, we've got four spies to light up in the darkness. Whilst just to drop down and continue around the side here, all the way around, this is what we get. So we've got our wasteland wheels, and we've got a ladder on the side to help you get up and inside. And of course to do some maintenance work on the top of the vehicle in case it took damage. As we were to move all the way along, we're going to ignore the top for the moment and just look at this section right here. We can see our small block seats being put to very good use where we spotlight in between them. All the way down here and behind our wheels, we can see a bunch of hydrogen engines as well as a warfare battery sitting right behind there. If we were to come all the way around towards the very back here, all the way around, that is what we get. So we've got a bunch of our wasteland spies and a connector at the back to load this thing up with hydrogen or ammunition, depending on what you need. All the way up and above here, we've got some barred window blocks that's going to be surrounding our turret on top. So if we had to come all around on the side of the turret, this is what we get. We can see our auto cannons, our assault cannons, and all the way around towards the front, we got ourselves our rail gun, which has got a transparent LCD screen that's been extended across via some more barred window blocks. Then we've got a blast or edge block with a camera to help look down and aim our gun precisely. We've got a, another connector right there, which can be very difficult to connect. If I was to grab my character and fly all the way over here, what you'll see is that the hitbox of the turret, which is my main complaint of the turret, is very, very big. So you're not going to get a refueling ship. You're not going to get a base extend down a piston onto this. You're going to have to manually load it from this location. So yes, we can just about reach there. There we go. Yes, nothing is going to attach onto that. Bring back the free camera and then just looking across over here, we can see the hinge, which is how our turret is going to move up and down. And behind our connector, we've got ourselves our warfare battery and an antenna to make sure we can always find this. Coming all the way across and all the way over to here, we'll take a better look at that gun barrel. That is what we get and that's how it's been lined up to aim the railgun. And all the way down to here, we've got this lovely little flap made out of some blast or blocks, which is how we're going to get in and out and drive the vehicle. But yes, that is the turret on top. If you were to just come all the way inside here, you can then see our rotor, which is we're going to spin this all the way around. And surrounding that rotor, we can see a bunch of hydrogen tanks. Around towards the front there, there is our cockpit to drive this thing around with an O2H2 generator right behind it. And you're just getting a better view there, looking down. We can see our assault cannon, our auto cannon. And there is our railgun, and there's a the spotlight at the front. If we were to drop down and come underneath past our ram, you can see the hinges very clearly there. But further down and underneath, ignoring the grass for the moment, you can see the suspensions, how they've been connected up to the main body. And then you can see the batteries going along the bottom there, and the ore detector, just in case you need it. And then towards the back there, there is the connector. And there we go, that is a very brief look around the outside of the HAC-01 Tortuga Heavy Armoured Car. And it does look fantastic with how this thing has been set up. I love the railgun on top, I love the use of the auto cannons, and I really love this ram at the front here, that is so well done, with the spikes at the bottom there, that should deal a nice lot of damage, or at least prevent you from taking a nice lot of damage from any kind of impacts. So just grabbing hold of my character, there he is, 
We're now going to come up to the side. We're going to climb up this ladder. Here we go. And as you say, nice and neat way of getting on top. Do some repair work on the railgun. And of course, come all the way around and get inside. So in first person view, this is what we get all the way around with the flap open. We do get a surprising amount of light coming through there. And down to here, we can see our three scripts. We got our compass script, our dock ship script, and then we got our mart script, which is going to be for the custom turret on top. And then looking down to here, we've got our traditional ones, where we've got our plant gravity, our artificial horizon, and then our power and hydrogen usage, with a lovely little logo right down there. But yes, bringing up the HUD, this is what we get. Number one is going to seal us inside. Pressing that, it's now going to get very dark in here. If it was to bring the camera all the way up, that is what it does. So lift it up and lift it down. Very neatly done. And you wouldn't notice it was there if you just looked at it like so. Number two is for our parking brake on and off so you don't have to press P. Number three is for our camera above our railgun to help aim it with our LCD screen in front of us. And number four is to take control of our railgun and we can now say shoot the sum of it. There we go. Yes, we can zoom all the way in. It's a very handy LCD screen. Five and six is then for our auto cannons and assault cannons on and off on the top there so we can just switch them off if we don't need them. Number seven is for the lights all the way around the chip to turn them on and off and that includes the spotlights on the side. Number 8 is for our hydrogen engine, number 9 is for our O2H2 generator, and then on tab number 2 we've got our antenna on and off, our connector to lock and unlock it, and then number 9 is for our battery to auto or recharge. There we go. So just going to put that hydrogen engine on for the moment, we're going to wobble around a little bit, undo the parking brake, and hopefully this won't deafen you. So yes, we're now going to drive this thing around, it's going to be a little bit weird because we're going to be controlling the turret as well as the main body, and we're just going to turn this all the way around. So it turns very, very slowly, it's very much like a tank. So just driving all the way around this rather lumpy surface where we're dangerously near a cliff edge. It's a very slow, it's a very stable vehicle, but you're not going to be like racing this around, you're not going to be doing some sick jumps with this, or trying to do a backflip with it. You're going to just be parking it up, and then you're going to go and pummel the enemies. And that's what we're going to do right now. So there's the enemies all the way down to there. We've got to somehow get all the way down this mountainside, then we'll greet them at the bottom. I have not very high hopes of surviving all the way down here because beans were moving now, there's no way of stopping. So we're just going to have to, well, we're going to go for a very big jump. We don't have gyroscope control, so we're just going to have to hope that the turret doesn't get damaged. And there we go. We might land on top, tuck the turret away, and there we are. We sort of turned this into a small little land vehicle. We just lost all the guns on top. There is a button right there. I'm just going to check out that button. Beans, I found it. Oh, there we go. That was a button for the hatch. I didn't notice that before, so excuse that. But anyway, now we're down on the ground. The enemies are right behind that lip of the mountainside. We can find a brand new one of these, which is going to spawn this right in here. I will just double check where that button was, because it wasn't very obvious. And here we go. I've just spawned it in. Checking out where that button was. That is where it was. That is a very sneaky button. I would never have guessed it was there without losing the turret on top. But yes, enough of that. We're now going to turn that off. Close the hatch. Third person view. And away we go. We're just going to come around the corner. Hopefully this goes well. They've got a couple of Gatling guns. They've got an auto cannon and an assault cannon. And we're going to see how well we can do. In fact, I might just put the brakes on. Make sure the turrets on here are at the maximum range. Yes, they are there at 600. So they might have a very big advantage. So we're going to use the rail gun and attempt to snipe out some of their more dangerous weapons. Or even go for one of the hydrant tanks, which I know is very much exposed on this thing. So here they are all the way around, zooming all the way in. That is what we get, and we're now going to zoom like that. And there we go, we missed that. Our guns are firing, we're doing very well. That is one thing I absolutely love about this update is small steel blocks, small heavy armor steel blocks can take an absolute beating. Look at this, we've got all the cannons, we've got assault cannons, we've got Gatling turrets, and we're still in one operational piece. Let's just go and grab this once again to see if we can actually deal with that turret right there. Although the rail gun is not working, it's been damaged. But yes, we're doing a fantastic job against that base. That was some large block turrets, and it looks like. Oh, apart from that, please, please turret that. That's going to um absolutely destroy me if it gets another shot off. And there we are, it's hanging on by a thread. But yes, I am very impressed with this update with what I've done for small blocks. That is absolutely incredible. Yes, we lost a bunch of wheels at the front. Yes, we lost a lot of blocks. But at the end of the day, we are still operational. We are still firing our guns, which is, well, attempting to fire into the other turret. And there we are. 
So yes, that is the full force of the HAC-01 Tortuga Heavy Armoured Car, and it does a bang up job against a armoured base. And as for that, there's not too much else to talk about, as I said, it's a fantastic little vehicle if you are looking for something to assault a pirate base in your game, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download it and play around for yourself, and I'll be back with another video some point soon, where hopefully an aeroplane will not be interrupting me as they fly over my house. Anyway, bye bye. <laughs>